Hello and welcome to Prep E where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. This is the fifth kind of question in the guided reading practice series which is called sentence completion. Let's get started with the step by step approach to solve this one. First of all, you have to read the instructions carefully, just like in any other questions, you cannot ignore the instructions. Then you have to read the title of the passage or in the passage that we are going to be reading today, it is a note instead of a title. So go through that note carefully. Then you have to go through the question statements or the sentences that have to be completed. Read them and underline the keywords in that particular question and think about their synonyms or how they could be paraphrased so that you can locate them in the passage once you locate them in the passage once you locate the keywords as it is or the synonyms of those keywords you have to read those lines carefully read those lines two three times if you're not able to understand and then finally figure out what the answer is here there's one additional step wherein while you're answering the question you have to keep in mind the grammatical accuracy as well because it's a fill in the blank question or it's a sentence completion question so you have to keep in mind the prepositions the articles there could be certain words that you might have to use to make sense of that particular sentence apart from that check if the sentence is meaningful or not sometimes we blindly copy a text or you know a word from the passage and write it in the blank so that we can complete the sentence but we don't end up reading the complete sentence along with the answer that we have used in that blank a lot of times if you read the complete sentence with the answer that you have put there you would notice that it's not making any sense even if it's meaningful it's not grammatically correct if these are the things that you notice it's a sign or it's a hint that your answer is incorrect so whenever you're answering such questions please keep in mind that first the text has to be picked up from the passage number two it should be grammatically correct number three it should be meaningful there should be a tick mark on all these three if it is not picked up from the passage then your answer is incorrect you have to pick up a word from the passage itself in all your reading questions number two if it's not grammatically correct if you're reading the sentence and you feel that something is missing it's not uh, grammatically accurate maybe you know there's a difference between singular and plural maybe the you know the blank is preceded by r and your answer is a singular in that case of course the answer is incorrect and if it is not meaningful, if it's not making any sense, the meaning is absurd or it's not uh, very clear in that case also your answer is incorrect. So you have to remember PGM. PGM, P is it should be picked up from the passage. G is that it should be grammatically accurate. And the last one is that it should make sense. It should be a meaningful sentence when you read it completely along with the answer. Please keep in mind this strategy. This will help you in figuring out or cross-checking if your answer is correct or not. So please keep in mind these three words. Moving on to the note. Just like your other questions here also we have a note which is that the answer to the questions are in the same order as the information in the text. That is the answer to first question in this group will be located in the test before the answer to the second question. So it is in series and you have to remember this so that you can locate the answer so that it's easier for you to figure out the answer to the different questions. Now, this was the strategy. Let's apply it in the questions. I just have three questions for you because I feel sentence completion questions are relatively easier. Here you just have to uh, complete the blank and there's no major issue. In any case, if you guys want me to discuss more of those, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be discussing similar questions like these. So, this is what i have with me one second yeah the 
first and the foremost thing is that you have to read the instructions of the question and here again the instructions are that you have to complete the sentences below and choose no more than two words so no more than two words from the text for each answer basically means that your answer can be in one word or two words you cannot exceed more than two words or you cannot write more than two words if you do that you are basically uh, not following the instructions and you'll end up scoring a zero in, in those particular questions so please remember to follow the instructions now we have to go back to the passage and read the title or as i mentioned earlier in this case we have a note so the note says that this is an extract from a general training reading text on the subject of understanding b behavior so here they're going to talk about the behavior of bees. The text preceding this extract described Carl von Frisch experiments and his conclusions about two bee dances. So this paragraph or this passage will talk about the bee dances and understanding the bee behavior. So we have to keep that in mind and be receptive to information related to it. Moving back to the questions, instead of reading the entire passage or all the paragraphs, we move back to the questions and underline the keywords in this question and look for the keywords or their synonyms or paraphrased versions in the passage and that's how we'll find the answer. So Von Frisch discovered the difference between dance types by changing the position of the dash. So how did he find the difference between dance types? So dance type is one keyword that we have. How did he discover the difference between dance types? By changing the position of something. What did he change to figure out the difference between dance types? That's the first one. The dance outside the hive points in the direction of the. So where is the? dance outside the hive points directed towards so the dance here outside is the keyword because something could be inside the hive points also the dance outside the hive points is in the direction of kis ki direction mein hai is in the direction of the what would be the answer here we have to fill in the blank then last one is the angle of the dance so here we have to locate the paragraph which is talking about angle of the dance from the vertical shows vertical there could be something horizontal as well horizontal diagonal we never know we haven't gone through the gone through the passage right now so the angle of the dance from the vertical shows the angle of the food from the dash this could again be some location it could be some position so we have to see what the answer is the angle of the food from the dash now the answers can be in either one word or two words we cannot exceed more than two words so let's scroll up we have to locate how did he figure out the difference between dance types by changing the position of what what was changed to figure out the position of the dance type so let's just quickly uh, skim through it at first one thought the bees were responding only to the scent of food so we have food here they are smelling the food scent of food or the aroma but what did the third dance mean and if bees were responding only to the scent how could they also sniff down food hundreds of meters away from the hive now hive there's an asterisk here so we can just read what hive means if you do not know the meaning of this word i know the meaning of this word but if you don't know it it says a house for bees we all have heard of the word beehive or chatta in hindi i guess so beehives the place where they build a nest and live and where honey is also harvested so that is beehive the food which was sometimes downwind on a hunch he started gradually moving the feeding dish so what he was doing is he was moving the feeding dish further and further away and noticed as he did so that the dances of the returning scout bees also started changing the dance changed so the way they were dancing changed depending upon where the feeding dish was located or how far the food was if you place the feeding dish over nine meters away so this is an experiment over nine meters away the second type of dance the sickle version 
came into play. But once he moved it past 36 meters, the scouts would then start dancing the third quite different waggle dance. So it's pretty interesting to read this. Always read the first paragraph of your passage so that you get an idea of what it is about. So we have read the first passage and we have figured out that they are talking about three different dances. One is when the dish is moved further away. The other one is that when it's moved nine meters away, the second dance, second type of dance starts. And the third type of dance starts when it is moved 36 meters away. Okay, so these are three different types of dances that they're talking about. And here the question says, he discovered the difference between dance types by changing the position of, he was changing the position of the feeding dish or the food. So the distance of the food was being changed from, you know, further away to 9 meters and then 36 meters. So the answer would be of the feeding dish. Because you have to pick up the answer from the passage, it could be feeding dish. So what is being moved? Feeding dish is being moved. There is no mention of food being moved anywhere. So we'll be picking up the exact same word, feeding dish. Moving on to the next one, the dance outside the hive points in the direction of the dash. So the dance is being, uh, so the dance is happening outside the hive points in the direction of the dash. So it's happening in the direction of something. We'll have to see what that something is. So the answer to the first question or let's say the 38th question is here. So obviously the answer to 39 question would be below it. We have read so far. Let's just scan through this. The measurement of the actual distance to he concluded was precise. Then again, this is an example. So here you can ignore it. He's just giving an example of the feeding dish is 300 meters away. It was indicated by 15 complete runs to the pattern in 30 seconds, blah, blah, blah. Not important. Moving on to the next one. He noticed something further. When the scout bees came home to tell their sisters about the food source, sometimes they would dance outside on the horizontal entrance. So here the keyword is, as I've already mentioned, vertical dance. Oh wait, this is for the third one. So here this won't be the answer, vertical shows. So let's go back. So, when the scout bees came home to tell their sisters about the food source, sometimes they would dance outside. So there's this mention of outside here, dance outside on the horizontal entrance platforms of the hive and sometimes on the vertical wall inside. So we have to focus on the outside part and not in, on the inside part. And depending upon uh, where they danced, the straight position of the waggle dance would point in different directions. The outside dance was fairly easy to decode. The straight portion of the dance pointed directly to the food source. The straight portion of the dance pointed directly to the food source. So the bees would merely have to decode the distance passage, sorry, the distance message and fly off in that direction to find their food. There's this mention of outside dance here, dance outside, but they have not mentioned about the hive exactly. Here they say the outside dance was fairly easy to decode. Decode is that we can figure out what is the meaning of outside dance. The straight portion of the dance pointed directly to the food source. So the answer should be food source here because they are saying the dance outside the hive points in the direction of the food source where are they pointing towards they're pointing towards or looking at it or in the direction of the food source so that the bees would merely have to decode the distance message and fly off in that direction so the answer to 39 would be food source last but not the least is the angle of the dance from the vertical shows so we have to locate the word angle vertical shows angle and vertical shows would not really have any synonyms. They won't be changed. I guess they'll be used as it is. Shows the angle of the food from the, what is the reference point? We have to look for the reference point here. From the what? So we move back. 
and here I can clearly see angles mentioned so we'll just focus on those angles so here it would be however if for example the feeding place is 40 degrees to the left of the sun then the dancer would run 40 degrees to the left of the vertical line next we have spotted vertical line you can scan through these lines also if you see any mention of degrees or uh, you know vertical anywhere i don't see it anywhere as such yeah it does say the direction of the food in relation to the sun so this paragraph is talking about how the direction of the food is related to the sun so we just have to understand with this example that if the feeding place is 40 degrees to the left of the sun then the dancer would run 40 degrees towards the left of the vertical line the angle of the dance from the vertical shows the angle of the food from the sun so the answer to this question is sun the reference point is the sun and also this line pretty clearly mentions that the direction of food in relation to the sun is being discussed and here also it's the same food and sun so that's how you figure out the answers and if you notice here all these words are picked up from the passage when we read the complete sentences it's grammatically correct it's not um, see it's a uh. if it was an here then feeding dish would have been incorrect it was supposed to be starting from a e i o u sounds right if if it's an here so this is what i was saying when i meant that it should be grammatically accurate as well so if the last word here would have been an then feeding dish would have been incorrect because f f is a consonant and not a vowel okay so you have to keep this in mind then here also it's correct the dance outside the high points in the direction of the food source similarly in the last one the angle of the dance from the vertical shows the angle of the food from the sun if it were from a again it would have been incorrect from a sun does not make sense it's not grammatically accurate so this would have been wrong then last but not the least we have to keep in mind whether the answer or whether the entire sentence along with the answer is meaningful or not so you have to keep in mind that part as well and when when you read all these three sentences you will understand that these are meaningful so what i'm trying to tell you is that apart from locating the answer from the passage you have to check whether your answer is meaningful and also grammatically correct for grammatically correct you have to check the words that are being preceded by your blank Okay, if a blank is preceded by R, A, R, E, then this word has to be plural. Okay, if it is preceded by is or if it is preceded by A, then it has to be singular. If it is preceded by is, A, an, sometimes the also, sometimes, please remember I said sometimes, it would be singular. Sorry, not this one. And it it should be a vowel sound. Okay, so it could be this is an orange. You can't say this is an oranges. That would be incorrect. You can also not say uh, this is an car. It would be this is a car or this is an followed by something that sounds like a e i o u i hope you have understood this if you haven't understood these these are just some examples this is not the complete list i've just given you some examples to understand how to figure out the grammatical accuracy this is for this one okay uh, go through it if you have any doubts you can write it in the comment section below and also if you want me to discuss anything in detail you can let me know i hope you like this video i hope you have understood the strategy please hit on the thumbs up button if you have liked the video share it with your friends and family members and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow this entire playlist thank you so much have a nice day